Just marhay na aldaw sa Indugabos. Good day, senior high students. Welcome to Philippine Politics and Governance. I'm your teacher guide, Teacher Rika, engaging you to an in-depth learning on DepEd TV. Where ignorance results into fear, but knowledge turns into ability. Do you know them? Definitely not a showbiz personality. But do you know that they are very influential just like Danielle Padilla or Alden Richards? They are considered world builders of their time. Today, we will delve on political ideologies, its definition, importance, category, and characteristics. To give us a complete knowledge on this topic, we will be joined by our political insider, Ms. Foley. Welcome, senior high students, to The Insights, a show that will give you extensive and in-depth information on Philippine politics and governance. It's another exciting discussion as we look into the world of political ideologies. Ideology, as defined in Cambridge Dictionary, is a set of beliefs or principles, especially one on which a political system, party, or organization is based. It is also a set of shared beliefs within a group, such as a nation or social class. This body of beliefs influence the way individuals think, act, and view the world. Antoine-Louis Claude de Soucant de Tracy was a French Enlightenment aristocrat and philosopher who coined the term ideology. Ideology, according to de Stoux de Tracy, is the analysis of ideas into the sensory elements of which he believed them to be composed. Training in this new science would rejoice classical logic, and he maintained, if a man learned how to analyze his ideas, he would then discover which of them were founded in experience and which were groundless. If we will look into this definition, we simply say that ideology, or in Filipino, ideologia or kaisipan, is a concept of beliefs that greatly affects a person's behavior in the society. For example, what is your ideology being a senior high school student? Do you have that set of ideas that when you finished your strength, you either have good job or continue studies in college? Ideology serves also as your target guide to reach your goals. As mentioned, a body of beliefs influence the way individuals think act and view the world. Ideology plays an important role in the society as it sets the beliefs of the people. Political ideology. Political ideology is a set of ethical ideas that explains how society should work that offers political and cultural blueprint for social order, focusing on the type of government and economy. Definition given by Boundless.com Also, it talks about beliefs, values, and opinions exhibiting a recurring pattern and provides a plan of action for public policy making in an attempt to justify, explain, and change the social and political arrangements and process of a political community. This is according to M. Frieden, 
in International Encyclopedia of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Let's simply say political ideology is the guiding principle of a society. Characteristics of political ideologies. It offers an account of the existing order, often in the form of worldview. In general, political ideologies shows what works and does not work in the system of the society. It provides a model of desired future, a vision of good society. Political ideologies sets outcome of the future. It gives the society picture of what should be an ideal community. It outlines how political change can and should be brought about. Political ideologies also leads the society into change and how it should be achieved. It gives the society ideas of the steps or process of change. With these characteristics of political ideologies, it demonstrates that it concerns with the issues in the society and how this should be addressed. Some of the concerned issues are economy, education, healthcare, military, race, immigration, justice system, labor, and criminal law. If a society don't have a clear political ideology, there is no strong foundation of a good society. Before we proceed with our discussion, let's have your quick check. This time, let's do you complete me. Complete the sentence with idea or information that is being asked. I'll give you five seconds for each item. Get ready? Start! Blank, it is a set of shared beliefs within a group, such as a nation or social class. Done? The correct answer is ideology. Blanc is a French Enlightenment aristocrat and philosopher who coined the term ideology. That person is Antoine Louis Claude de Stu Con de Tracy, or simply Antoine de Stu de Tracy. Blanc a certain ethical set of ideas that explains how society should work and offers some political and cultural blueprint for a certain social order. It refers to political ideology. Did you make it? Wow, that was great. If not, maybe you had some confusion. Let's move forward with our discussion. Earlier, we mentioned that one of the characteristics of political ideology is that if the idea would work or does not work in the society, this concept leads to political spectrum. The political spectrum refers to the range of political positions or opinions that exist from the progressive left wing to the conservative right wing. Today, the terms left wing and right wing are used as symbolic labels for liberals and conservatives, but they were originally coined in the reference to the physical sitting arrangements of politicians during the French Revolution. The terms left and right used to refer to political parties is one of the lasting legacies of the French Revolution. Members of the National Assembly divided into the supporters of the king to the president's right and supporters of the revolution to his left. The split dates to the summer of 1789 when members of the French National Assembly met to begin drafting a constitution. The delegates were deeply divided over the issue of how much authority King Louis XVI should have. And as the debate raged, the two main factions each stake out 
territory in the assembly hall. The anti-royalist revolutionaries seated themselves to the presiding officer's left, while the more conservative aristocratic supporters of the monarchy gathered to the right. In 1791, during a legislative assembly, there was a little change. Innovators sat on the left, moderates sits on the center, while consensus defenders of the constitutions are seated on the right. During the beginning of early 20th century, the left and the right of political ideology spreads to other countries. By 1914, the political beliefs were adopted by other countries. Eventually, the left and right established ideological groupings. Those belongs to the left concerns ideas on freedom, rights, reform, progress, equality, fraternity, internationalism. While those who stays in the right, they focused on tradition, nationalism, authority, hierarchy, and order. Political scientists and analysts group it into left-wing includes anarchism, socialism, social democracy, liberalism, while right-wing includes fascism, capitalism, conservatism, neoliberalism. Political ideologies have the same basic features as other forms of ideology. This was shown by Jones. Political ideologies, it has beliefs. This is about the nature of the world. Political objectives is whatever their beliefs are designed to achieve. Instructions is about how these objectives can be realized. Justifications for those beliefs and about the superiority of such beliefs when compared to other ideologies. For our next episode in Philippine politics and governance. Here are some of the major political ideologies and their ideologies that shape history.